Hi, Miss Johnston's class. It's Melanie Pax, and I play the fairy godmother in Descendants. And your teacher, Miss Johnston, has said that you guys have done so well this year. She is so proud of you this year because I know you've been dealing with a lot of sort of pandemic y kind of schooling, and I don't know what that's going to look like for you guys. But your teacher, Miss Johnston, is so, so, so proud of you. Um, she says that you guys talk about descendants a lot, a lot, and um, and that you're big fans. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for being fans of Descendants. I know that the whole cast and crew is truly honored to have fans like you guys. Um, so I thought I would share a little story about working on the set of Descendants. So. First of all, it was amazing. And I was so honored to be a part of that group. Um, Kenny Ortega, the director and the choreographer, is a legend in his own time. Um, and so it was just incredible. So we got, I did not do a lot of the dance, the choreography, but we got to sit and watch them rehearse all of the actors and all of the um, dancers. We got to watch them rehearse and we did get to learn a few of the dances, but just to get to sit and watch them rehearse over and over again and work so hard, that was such a fun part of the process. Kind of one of the best um, parts, watching those young actors, um, uh, I'm calling her Mel, but Dove and Sophia and Boo Boo and Cameron, God rest his soul. And uh, Boo Boo, did I say Boo Boo? And um, the rest of the gang, incredible dancers. Um, so that was always such an incredible part about shooting the films. We, we shot three of them. Um, we shot them in Vancouver. I don't know where you live, but we would go up to Vancouver and that, that city is super cool. And we would all stay at a hotel together and we would transfer, we would get up early, go out to our um, van and get transferred to the studio together. And when we were in the vans together, every like the young actors would always sing songs and harmonize and do like go on their social media and say hi to all their fans. It was just such a fun, intimate moment. And then we would go to set and uh, we would all stand or sit rather in our dressing rooms and have our makeup and hair done. And um, I did not wear, oh, I, I wore a, a, not a, I, I did wear a little wig, but like um, Mal and Evie and Cameron uh, all got to wear, Boo Boo did not wear a wig, but they all wore really cool wigs, obviously, like the blue one, the purple one, and then Cameron's um, white one. And it was just so fun sitting in the dressing rooms with those guys and with other actors, not just them. We would always, we would sit with everyone and drink coffee and eat our breakfast and talk about our scenes. We would run lines. Um... Uh, we would run lines in the, our dressing rooms and then we would go to set and we would rehearse all day in the most magical places. Uh, we shot in this big mansion and it was almost like a castle. That's where we shot Oradon in, um, it was off of Vancouver, it was off of Vancouver on Victoria Island, I think. And it was this beautiful castle and I've seen other big movies shot there. I'm like, I recognized it, this, the castle we shot in. Um, I recognize it in other buildings or in other movies because it's such a recognizable building and beautiful on the inside. And we shot there every year. It was so cool. Um, yeah, and those kids are, they're not kids. They're young adults. They're young. They're adults. Young adults. There you have it. Um, but they were just so special to work with and it was just such an honor to work with them. And I don't know if any of you guys want to be actors, but, um, if you do, here's what I say. I say, take lessons, take singing lessons, dancing lessons, but also be in sports or travel and go to museums and just sort of live life authentically because as actors, you're playing other humans and all those humans that you're playing are most likely not actors taking lessons. So you want to be able to pull from real, real life experiences. I don't know if that makes sense, but just a little inside 
scoop on some tools to use now. I don't know if these are the things that you guys want to listen to. Oh, there's another fun story that we have. Um, when they were shooting Descendants 2, we were shooting on a ship, half of a ship that was built inside of a soundstage. So a great big building and they built an actual ship and the dancers and the actors were shooting late into the night. So myself and the other older actors got released, but the younger actors and the dancers were shooting on a ship that was in a soundstage with rain coming down on them. And they just had so much fun and worked so hard those that night of shooting um, that it really, I don't know if you remember the scene where they're dancing on the ship in Descendants 2, but that's one of my favorite scenes to think about. It was intense, um, but it was also amazing, the final product. Anyway, you guys, I'm babbling, but I just want you to have a great summer. Your teacher, Miss Johnston, is so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. And um, yes, have a great summer and have fun and be with your family and hug your family. And oh, the one thing I wanted to tell you, this is what we teach. Um, in Goodness Class 101 at Ordon Prep. The true magic in life is to be kind to yourself and to love yourself so you can be kind to others and love others. It's a really good rule to follow. Bye, you guys. I'm so proud of you. Bye-bye.